Hello, hello. Welcome to Critics of Controversy. Today I'll be joined by Hawk Kaiser, the final brave. Unfortunately, our good friend, Mr. Felix, will not be joining us. He's busy, I don't, do, I don't know, doing whatever it is that criminals do. So, Mr. Hawk Kaiser, the final brave, if you would, I'd like to spend a little bit of time talking about, uh, I guess we could say, inclusion and diversity in media. Uh, that sounds a little misleading, but uh, yeah, I'll bite. So, as many people know, recently, there was a little bit of a, I guess, I wouldn't say unnecessary praising, but praising of the fact that the new Power Rangers movie has features a bunch of, of widely diverse cast, being uh, the main Red Ranger being white, the Pink Ranger being white, the uh, Black Ranger being Asian, uh, the Yellow Ranger being a questionably lesbian Hispanic girl, and the Blue Ranger being an autistic black boy. So, I wanted to, I just wanted to talk a little bit about diversity. It seems to be kind of a hot button topic. How do you feel about it? Well, see, the thing is, diversity in itself isn't inherently bad, right? Right. But this is, this is where my problem comes in. When you start, what's the word? I, I know that fucking crusty nigga Felix knows what I'm talking about. I don't know the word for it, but when they just try to get these damn brownie points by, oh, hey, we have all these uh, different people in the fucking product. Yeah, man, look at me. Uh, give me my points. Fucking come on. When I, I believe the term would be pandering. No. Uh, no, it's like signal, like uh, virtue signaling. I think that's what it is. I'm not smart, so I just throw out words I don't know what they fucking mean. But I think <laughs> that's it. And it's like, okay, you want to have a bunch of different fucking characters from different backgrounds and shit. All right, that's cool, right? But when it's all, it really uh, it doesn't serve to make a more interesting story. It just serves to say, oh, hey, this is what we have. I think that's fucking shady for one, and it doesn't make for a fucking good product either. Now, here's where here's where I find a little bit of a divide in how we feel. As far as maybe it's the fact that I grew up in an era where diversity kind of blended in just naturally a, a little better, and it wasn't as focused on by the media. I grew up watching things like X Men and. Power Rangers and uh, Captain Planet, all having extremely diverse casts. Now, it wasn't as focused on, I'd say, back in the early '90s, but it's it's. I feel it's fine, especially if it takes place in America and if it takes place in a fictional place, at least to my knowledge, like the Power Rangers movie. Then it would make sense because, I mean, yes, the major the majority of the Power Rangers cast is white. But the majority of America is white, if I'm remembering right, or at least they're the largest group in America. Now, where I find this fine is, of course, the fact that, yes, it's America, tons of tons of people of different races. And it's, it's Power Rangers. It's trying to be diverse. It's always been like that. You've always had Power Rangers where everybody where they had different races along since the very beginning. They also added in the autistic boy and the uh, possibly lesbian girl, and I think that's fine too. Because as Power Rangers as Power Rangers moves forward and as America moves forward, we're going to have more diverse things. It's not taking away from it at any level. Uh, well, see, like I said, we're watching Power Rangers since back in the day too, right? But you had like the black dude who was fucking dancing and driving. He was cool, right? You had the uh, the Asian or I don't know what the fuck she was, Asian or like Indian well, or something. No, she was. Uh, you're talking about Trini. She was Vietnamese. Right, right. But like, I don't remember. Maybe it did. I, I don't remember people fucking praising the series because it had uh, these fucking different. Uh, different racial groups which i think is a uh, a bit of an easy route to go for diversity because you could take 
a, a skin a skin tone of fucking ethnicity, right? You okay. could make an entire fucking cast of Asians, but have somebody be from Japan, Korea, fucking Vietnam. Uh, those are the only fucking Asian countries I know. China, <laughs> and then you can have a fucking technically diverse cast, but that's not what these motherfuckers want to see. Who are out there praising shit just because it's diverse, right? They want to see a fucking black half. New have fucking uh, disabled fucking I don't know. They want to mm. see a character who fits who hits every tick who hits every box on the uh, diversity scale. Right. Is what you're saying? Yeah, and this if you want to create something that has people from different backgrounds and. Uh, ethnicities and everything I don't think that it should be what you're setting out to do I don't think that would make for an interesting product like I said before right but uh Power Rangers it's never been the focus of the characters that they were said race or at least not in most of them that I've seen well yes but here that's actually a plus point I feel for Power Rangers because it's never been Power Rangers never focused on anybody's... Well, they've never focused exclusively on anybody's race. They've done it in a few episodes of uh, Power Rangers here and there saying things and doing things where it was like, oh, this is that one diversity episode or this is that other diversity episode, etc. But they've never really focused because as a person who's watched Power Rangers for way too many years much further beyond uh, the age group that i should have been in when i was watching it uh spd the main ranger was black the red ranger was black i think if i'm remembering right he might have yeah, been he, was, yeah. he may have been samoan i'm not sure but um yeah they had they've always had very diverse s cast and I think that's kind of a plus that they've never really spent too much time focusing on it. Another thing that I heard about the new Power Rangers movie was the fact that uh, with R.J. Seiler's character, uh, Billy, the Blue Ranger, that yes, he's autistic, but they they literally just glance over. They're like, oh, you're autistic? Okay. And then they go about the business. They continue on. Or at least he's on the spectrum, which I don't actually know what that falls under. What but, you think? No, no, go ahead. Now, what you think? Uh, you say that uh, the character is autistic, right? <laughs> but if you don't act like an autist, I'm gonna be very, uh, <laughs> very perturbed because that just proves my fucking point. Well, one of the things that uh, after hearing this that made a lot of sense, and maybe I'm generalizing, maybe it sounds a little messed up, but if you look at the trailer, you see one of the things he's doing is perfectly arranging all of his uh, colored pencils and whatnot. But aside from that, he acts completely fine. He doesn't do anything that would be considered uh, lol wacky autism that the internet would find hilarious etc but he he seems fine and as far as diversity and other things like uh like x-men x the x-men are extremely diverse and always have been and that's kind of x-men's always that's always been kind of the point with x-men because it was uh it was about being different and people may not people may not like you for being different but there's nothing wrong with being different which is, I feel like it's a message that is uh, lost on the people who champion diversity, not necessarily the people who are like, all right, okay, yeah, yeah, this is all right, a concept. The people who think uh, diversity is the American strength, which is, I don't feel like uh, in media, you can really, uh, you can't force diversity. I think that's the problem. That people try to force diversity instead of letting it come naturally. Because you ever try to uh, to try to I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. 
and you try to you try to mix mix people in a in a big batch people who are really different right and it's like but if you try to force it it's just gonna explode it's like a it's like a a cake <laughs> that doesn't make any damn sense but that's the analogy <laughs> I'm going for you gotta put the ingredients in right you gotta mix it together nice and slow like boom boom you feel me <laughs> you get a you nice product at the end <laughs> I might be but you try to force it you, 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 the motor is going too fast it's everything spilling out everywhere and I don't see well I do see why it's because these people don't actually care about diversity they just want people they want the people to see that they care about it they want their brownie points yeah which is it's really disingenuous and I think it's a really shady thing to do but yeah it's, it's nothing necessarily wrong with uh having a bunch of different characters and different walk of life if you're gonna make a good product with it and not make it the focus of the story i feel that it can work if it's on i feel that it can work if it's only trying to just if it's trying to flat out just have a message like say it was one of those uh i don't know after school specials that we all watched where it was like a single thing it lasted for 20 minutes and it was like over and then you can go about your business yeah that's fine i but like I said, I've always I I've always enjoyed uh, diversity in things because um, there hell there were uh, tales of games early on that had ver- that had surprisingly diverse cast uh, tales of destiny tales of Eternia those two had very diverse cast they had uh, black they had black people in them and hell Eternia half the cast was black so I'm I'm just saying I think that this is my last point by the way. I think diversity can. St- I think you can have diversity in things, but I do agree with uh, Hawk Kaiser on this. Uh, I have to concede a little bit. I think that if you're going to have diversity, then you really shouldn't never ever make it the, the focal point if you want to make a story that isn't just about like that isn't like X Men themed or whatnot. You get what I'm saying? All right. So. I guess that I guess we'll cut it there unless you have any like I have a closing statement or whatnot. Uh yeah, I do. If you're gonna make uh, diversity, make it make sense. Don't try to make a fucking story set in uh <laughs> like fucking seventeen twelve or fucking revolutionary war where it's like a fucking black guy, an Asian, Indian, a fucking Indian with the dot on their head. It doesn't make sense. It's got to make sense. You can't just do whatever. You can't just throw everything and anything into something just for the sake of it. Fuck off. So, I, I'm like I said, this is the end. Uh, we'd like to hear your thoughts. You can leave comments on this video, or you can, I guess, hit our but hit our good friend Super Incognito Felix up on Twitter. If he's if he ever comes back to life, I, I hear recently that he may have been like run over by a stampede of horses. So he's in our thoughts. Have a nice day. That's the end of Critics Controversy. Yeah. <sighs>